very fun day planned and I wanted to start it off strong with a little bit of skating. The skate park is absolutely empty, I've got the whole place to myself so I'm going to warm up for a bit and then see how rusty I am. in right and you don't like running you don't like walking take up a hobby like this skateboarding bmx i'm absolutely fucked because it's so much fun you don't even realize how fucked you are Very good session, very good session. I'm surprised with the amount of confidence I had considering I haven't skated properly for ages. The only downside is I, I got dog poo on my shoe and on my grip tape, which is not ideal. Mate, look at the sweat. Look at the sweat. That is amazing cardio. Fasted cardio done the right way. Look at that sun flare. Bloody hell. My dad gave me some um, hand sanitizer. I definitely need this right now. This is very unhygienic. Oh well, I've, at least I've got this. Oh! Right, I am back. I had to have a shower because of how sweaty I was. I've washed my hands about 20 times and now I'm having some breakfast. It's 11 o'clock, well, 10 past 11. I've got three wheat bix grapes, strawberries, raspberries, and a bit of sweetener on top. So I'm gonna eat this and then go outside and join Ellen in the sun. This is the book that I'm reading at the moment. It is a very good book. And this book has actually really helped with- All right, stop there. So after watching this, I realized how windy that clip is. So I'm just gonna re-record this section of the video because it is quite an important one. Now, this is the book I'm talking about. It's called Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday. It is a very, very good book. Everybody could benefit from reading this. And the reason I'm talking about it is because it relates to my YouTube channel a lot. One thing this book made me realize is that my ego was having a massive effect on my social media. And what I mean by this is, for ages I've wanted to be consistent on YouTube, I absolutely love making videos, but I've been stuck in this vicious cycle where I would film a video, I would get to the edit and it just wouldn't be exactly how I want it to be. I know I could do it better, so then I would just scrap the video, or I just wouldn't record in the first place because I'd have this fear of not making it as perfect as possible, and also people watching it and not liking it. Now how stupid is that? Absolutely nothing in this world is perfect, like nothing. There is no doubt that it is good to hold yourself to a high standard, but if that is stopping you from making videos, then it's not a good thing at all and you need to kind of check yourself. So since applying these principles and just being a little bit more aware of my ego, it has helped tenfold, not just with YouTube, but just with general life, just, yeah, with everything. You'll be surprised at how much your ego actually takes over. And I know loads of people who could do with reading this. So yeah, definitely check it out. Back to the video. Farmer's walk. Yes. back inside now it's half six and we are literally the human resemblance of drumstick squashies i don't know if you can see there but we are sunburnt to shit we you well yeah more me than ellen i didn't wear any sun cream sorry mum, if you're watching this so i put on my insta for people to ask some questions because we haven't done a q a for ages so i'm going to answer some of them now we've got some good ones stephen jones asks who's the better chef out of you and ellen sorry to say this but i think we're both pretty shit at cooking James Perrett, my right-hand man at Gymshark. What's this? Uh, he says, what's Ellen's favourite class on Warzone? And what are your thoughts on the changes to the Gulag? Do you not know what that means? I didn't even know you could go to classes on Warzone. <laughs> but I know what's changed in the Gulag. What's changed in the Gulag? Their guns. 
Fair play. Yeah, what, you, don't, what's you don't have a pistol anymore. You can have different guns. Joe, my friend Joe has asked, best festival you've been to? Um, SW4. Yeah, I think in terms of... Like oh a, no, Greenfields. Well, this is, Greenfields this... was like my first proper festival. And Same. it was the first one we went to, wasn't it? Together? That's what I was going to say. In terms of like memorable festivals, Creamfields for sure, because that was the first festival we'd been to together. Although the weather was... Yeah, it pissed it down. Love your videos. What's your inspiration? First of all, thanks, Jay. Inspiration. Um, I'm guessing you mean for creating videos. It's a weird one because I don't have like a certain person who's like who inspires me. I guess it's just like a collective group of people because I watch a lot of YouTubers and it just motivates me to see people like making good content, if that makes sense. And it also, this is going to sound a bit wet, but my inspiration comes from myself because I know, I kind of know what I'm capable of if I... Tr Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> what got you into filming? Love the content by the way, you're a big inspiration. Thank you Charlie. I got into filming at a very young age. Skateboarding got me into filming because I used to watch YouTube 24 seven. I used to watch skateboarding as a kid. I used to watch Tony Hawk's tutorials on mate on video VHS. My parents also always used to have a VHS recorder filming us as a family. So I guess that's what inspired me to get into it. Yusuf asks, how did you get started? Yusuf, I'm going to need you to be a bit more specific there. My mum and dad got me started, <laughs> but we won't go into the details on that one. <laughs> is Ellen planning on doing any 5k runs after isolation is over? By the way, well done. I don't know what you're saying well done for, but thanks. Ellen, are you going to do any 5k runs after isolation? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, well, at the moment I'm currently running more than 5k. So I'm currently sitting at around seven to nine k, three to five, three to four times a week. But I was aiming for my ten k, which was back in April, that unfortunately got cancelled. And I was doing that um, to do it with my dad. But because that got cancelled, I'm now pushing myself for a half marathon. RXB Tucker, I'm guessing that's Rob Tucker. How come? How come you quit freelancing? I quit freelancing because I got a job at Gymshark over two years ago now. But even when I was freelancing, my end goal was to be working for Gymshark full time. So as soon as that happened, I just had no reason to do freelancing and all my time obviously went into being employed. Jack Wright PT, how did you get into videography with Gymshark? Now, this is a long story in itself. So I'm not going to go into detail in this video, but people do quite regularly ask me how to get a job at Gymshark or how I got my job at Gymshark. So if it's something people want to see, maybe I'll make a separate video. Ollie Smith 98 what website slash app do you use to edit your videos? I want to get some good content from uni. So I use a mix between Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro for like basic editing and then for any effects stuff, animations, I use After Effects. Final Cut, I would say, is easier. Yeah, you use. use Final Cut. I use Final Ellen, Cut. Ellen just, like, just got into editing and making videos, and she's picked that up really quickly. Aidan Broletti, have you managed to grow your calves yet? Should we have a look? Flex. Uh, oh, flex is hard. Ow! Crap! Fuck! <laughs> Potter Fit asks, would you rather be a pro skater or a Gymshark athlete? That's quite a cool question. I would definitely want to be a pro skater because I just absolutely love skating. And as a kid, that was my dream. I was convinced that I was going to be a pro skater. James Matthews Media asks, what's your top three tracks of 2020 so far? That is also a good question. Good question. Very diverse questions here. Right. First one is Flume, Rushing Back. This is just an absolute belter. And I just love, it's just completely different to everything else I've got on my playlist. It's just really like futuristic sounding. Flume, I just love their sound. You're so indie. I'm not <laughs> indie at all. Bro, she keeps calling me indie. I am not. I'm the furthest thing from indie. She calls me indie because I bought glasses. Skateboarding got my glasses. And also glasses. Read books. Oh, now. Shut up. Okay, next one. Sub focus and will concern. Just hold on. Now the original is sick, but uh, the remix as well is sick by Polar and Bryson. And then last one, because I had to get a bit of friction in there. Friction, good to me. I just absolutely love this song. It's probably my favourite, or, or uh, top three, it's in the top three Friction songs. And it really reminds me of like old school Nets, Netski, Nets guys, so. Uh, my favourite song is that Separated song. Separated song? Yeah, by, by Clune. Clune. C-L-O-O-N-E. I've not heard that one. Now that we're separated. Oh we yeah, that is, that is a tune. Right, we're gonna leave it at that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, By the way, what? 
You're so serious on camera. I, I think I'm just, I honestly think I've got sunstroke. It's probably why I'm a bit Your serious. So oh, yeah, I'm burning up. I'm sorry if I was a bit serious in that Q&A, but I think I'm dying, to be honest. Fact, you've not drank anything today. I've had three ciders. Boom.